Hey, what's up, everybody? Elric Ferris here once again on the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. Welcome back once again. Okay, a few weeks ago, Intel released its new Z68 chipset, and along with that came one of their newest technologies. This is Intel's newest smart response technology. Now, what this is, this is when you take a standard hard drive and use it in conjunction with a 20 gigabyte to 64 gigabyte SSD, getting simulated performance of almost an SSD drive. Now, tests are varied on this. We used four different tests for our results, and the results actually did show pretty good. Now, there's two types of performance that you get. You have their maximum performance, which is used as a caching drive, and you can also use it as write back as well. Two different types of ways to use the drive. Now, at first, we were kind of skeptical about this. We were wondering, does this actually work or not? We saw a few reviews and everything, and we actually kind of did some crazy testing in the beginning and tested with stuff that was like kind of like outside parameters. We were using RAID drives and everything else. At this moment right now, SRT technology does not work at all in conjunction with any RAID drives. So if you right now are using two drives in RAID, the SRT technology is not going to bring anything to the to table that's new for you, especially if you're already using an SSD drive for your boot drive. But if you're a user who just has a one terabyte or bigger standard hard drive and you have an SSD lying around, be it 20 gigabytes up to 64 gigabytes, you can use this drive in conjunction with your standard drive and you get between 50 to 60% performance increases over using just a standard hard drive. Now we're gonna go and we're gonna show you some of the things you have to do to get the Intel smart response technology going. The first thing that you're gonna do is when you start your computer, you're gonna to have to heat the delete key on your keyboard in order to get into the BIOS. Then you're going to want to go into the integrated peripherals section of the BIOS. Inside of here, you'll see a thing for the extreme hard drive, the HXD. Now, you're going to need to enable this, and then you're going to need to set up your PCH SATA control mode as RAID. You see it's RAID HXD. After that's set up, we're going to restart the computer. You're going to go here, and you're going to save and exit the setup. And then we're going to reboot the system and go into the Windows environment. Boot times were actually much faster using the combination of both the standard hard drive and the SSD than using just a standard hard drive as well. Also, the hard drives that I'm using, I'm using the Western Digital. I'm using the one terabyte green drive. This is a very common drive. As we're booting up right here, I didn't know if you guys can see that screen, but it showed the drives actually in RAID. It's kind of a simulated RAID. It's not actual true RAID, but it sets up the RAID drive as a caching device. Then we get inside of the Windows system. We have just a couple other things to do before you'll have your SRT up and going. You can use up to a 20 to 64 gigabyte SSD, depending on what we have. Today, we're using the Intel 311 drive and the one terabyte green drive. And then we also used the Kingston 128 gigabyte drive in single testing. So we tested with a standard hard drive with the SSD and SRT and then a standard 128 gigabyte SSD drive to show the differences. There was about a 50 to 60% performance increase between a standard HDD and the SRT technology. So now that we're in the Windows environment, we're gonna to wanna to go down here to the start menu we're going to click on the start menu. We're going to go to all programs and then we're going to look for Intel. We're going to go to Intel and then the Intel rapid storage technology. We're going to open that up. We can see the status. The current status is your system is functioning normally. We have two drives. We have the 19 gigabyte or the 20 gigabyte 311 drive here. And then we have the one terabyte drive here. This is where you manage your drives. You have advanced settings. We can turn stuff and tells you whether it's working or not working. Everything's working fine. And then you have the acceleration screen. Right here, everything's working. We could disable it. But right now, we have it accelerated. Now, you can change the modes as well. You can change the modes from two different styles. You have acceleration mode maximized. Or you have acceleration mode enhanced. The enhanced is doing the right back. And the other is when it's doing it and making everything just run much faster and maximize drive using caching. So those are basically the things that you have to do. It's very simple. After you set these drives up, all you basically do is just reset to restart your system and you'll be up and going.
So we saw between a 50 and 60% performance increase over using just the standard hard drive in our test. This is a pretty good thing. So basically, if you're gonna go out and you're gonna buy a new Z68 motherboard, and you have everything else you need in your system, you have your hard drive, your video card, everything's good to go, all you basically have to do is go out and buy yourself an SSD drive. 20 gigabytes up to 64 gigabytes to use this technology. Now, I know a lot of people out there will say, wow, I can still go out and buy you know, a three terabyte drive. Well, that's fine. If you do have a three terabyte drive, just picture this. When you go out and you have your car, you go out and you buy performance technology stuff, you spend big money to make your car run faster. This is the same thing with using Intel's smart response technology. You're spending basically $100 up to $200 and something dollars to basically make your system run faster. And since you're not using an SSD drive as your main basic drive, you still get all that capacity for drive with still semi-improved performance with the SSD drive as your caching drive. So I think all in all, Intel's smart response technology is a hit. It's a very good thing. All new PCs and all new Macs that'll be coming out in systems will have this stuff. So at the end of the day, SRT technology does work. It's good stuff. And Intel, thanks for bringing something new to the table.